In this demonstration, you will learn how ANSYS TurboGrid can be used to produce block-structured hexahedral meshes in the context of an iterative design process. ANSYS TurboGrid is a powerful tool that lets designers and analysts of rotating machinery create meshes that accurately represent geometrical models. These meshes are used in fluid flow simulations of turbo machinery applications using ANSYS CFD software. First, I will transfer an impeller's blade geometry from BladeGen into TurboGrid. TurboGrid's viewer allows me to inspect the blade's geometry from multiple perspectives. I can view a single periodic section, or I can view the entire impeller's geometry. As well, the periodic section can be placed in a meridional view. With the blade geometry model visually confirmed, I can make adjustments to the model as needed for a particular geometry. TurboGrid automatically divides the geometry into a set of volumetric regions, the inlet block, the passage, and the outlet block. If the automatically generated regions are insufficient, I have full control to adjust their locations as needed. For example, I can extend the outlet block by increasing the corresponding parametric location of the interface boundary. Although other interface specification options are available, the parametric option is typically used in an iterative design process because it makes the boundary position designation independent of an axial location, ensuring that a consistent mesh topology can be robustly applied to a large range of blade geometry variations. Hub and shroud tips can also be specified in TurboGrid using multiple methods. For this demonstration, I will set a shroud tip gap of 3 mm. Note that the topology set object is initially suspended when you start a new case. The topology set object depends on the geometry object, and, when not suspended, will be reprocessed each time the geometry is changed. This is optimal during the initial geometry adjustment, because TurboGrid skips the intermediate processing of the topology. After making the initial adjustments, I then simply turn off this option to generate the full 3D mesh. TurboGrid automatically produces a complete topologically conformal hexahedral mesh. Element size can be adjusted using a number of different methods. Adjusting the global size factor is a quick way to affect the element size of the mesh. Increasing the mesh factor decreases element size, refining the mesh. Conversely, reducing the number increases the element size, making the mesh coarser. This factor influences the mesh size across the entire domain. To refine the mesh near the boundary surfaces, I can adjust the boundary layer refinement control using the factor base. The factor base increases element count at the boundary in proportion to the global size factor. I will increase the factor base in this case. Upon updating the mesh to account for this change, you will notice that the boundary layer resolution increases. Local mesh refinement can be achieved by adjusting the corresponding portion of the blade's mesh topology. To refine a mesh locally, turn off mesh and geometry visibility and then right-click the portion of the mesh topology, which must be refined. Observe that the number of nodes in this topology region has increased. This particular change has decreased the element size by a factor of 2 in the specified area. TurboGrid automatically checks mesh quality by calculating a number of metrics. The available mesh metrics include minimum and maximum face angles, as a measure of the individual element quality, as well as element volume ratio, as a measurement of the expansion of mesh size from element to element. Mesh quality can influence both the robustness of convergence and solution accuracy, so it is always recommended to generate the highest quality mesh possible. Before passing this mesh onto CFX, I will lower the factor base and the global scaling factor to improve the mesh's quality. Any regions where the specified mesh quality metrics are not met can be visualized. Even with some mesh metrics not meeting the recommended values, I may consider the current mesh satisfactory and use it in my flow simulation. Now that a mesh of the desired resolution and quality has been generated, I can transfer it to CFX and set up a simulation. As part of the workflow of an ANSYS Workbench project, any changes from upstream components, like blade gen geometry definition, can be automatically updated and transferred to downstream components, like TurboGrid in this case. This means that any geometric modifications made to the blade will automatically be incorporated into a new mesh.
This new mesh can then be simulated in CFX, completing the iteration. This iterative design process can be used to refine specific aspects of the impeller, making the final design more efficient. To demonstrate this, I will modify the blade's leading edge angle in blade gen and then update the mesh and turbo grid. Blade angles are geometrical features which are often optimized through iterative refinement. For example, the leading edge blade angle of an impeller can be optimized to minimize the flow incidence at the design flow rate, avoiding fluid shock losses. This geometry change can then be automatically transferred to TurboGrid for a mesh update. All previous settings are retained and the mesh topology and mesh count are unchanged, ensuring consistent mesh and mesh quality for each design used. The ability to pair TurboGrid with BladeGen and CFX makes it an efficient, high-quality mesh creation tool in the context of an iterative design process. This concludes this demonstration on how impeller geometry changes can be easily propagated to high-quality mesh creation in TurboGrid, delivering a streamlined simulation process for impeller design optimization within ANSYS Workbench.